Hi guys, in this session we're going to be looking at applications of simultaneous equations. So this is predominantly word problems and then writing equations and then solving them. All right, as usual, we're going to get started with the question. So in this question, we have two integers have a sum of 16. One of the integers is four more than the other. What are the two integers? So when we have, uh, when we're saying two integers, I'm just going to write down the first thing. Let x and y be the two integers. All right. So the very first thing that it tells me is that these two integers have a sum of 16. So I can write my first equation. So whatever x is plus y and the sum of that is going to be 16. All right. That's my first equation. My second equation is it says one of the integers is four more than the other. So you could write it up like x plus 4 equals y. So you could write it up like that. Or you could write it as x minus y equals 4 as well. All right. So it really, uh, it really doesn't matter which way you write it because it will still, it should still work out. The equations will still work out. All right. So let's say I'm going to go with x plus 4 equals y. If I was to uh, rearrange this, or uh, let's see, what can we do here? Can we do elimination, substitution? You know, there's a lot we can do because this question is pretty, um, pretty basic in terms of the um, coefficients. So what I could do is I'm, I'm probably going to use substitution here, guys, because um, I already have y is equal to x plus 4. So I'm going to do this x plus y equals 16. So because y is equal to x plus 4, I can put that as y equals to x plus 4, and that's 16. <clears throat> All right, which means x, can you see how I got y equals x plus 4? Because y, that's from the green area that I, that I had written. So now combining the like terms, I've got 2x plus 4 equals 16. Okay, and then 2x is equal to 16 minus 4, so 2x is equal to 12, x is equal to 12 divided by 2, therefore x is equal to 6. And to figure out y, because from here I said y is equal to x plus 4, and because x is equal to 6, I could say 6 plus 4 is what y is, so therefore y is equal to 10. So my two answers that I get in this case, so the two integers, so the two integers are uh, 6 and 10. Okay, cool. Let's look at another uh, question and actually work through it again. All right, here we go. So this time I have the entrance fees to a theme park are $10 for adults and $6 for children. On a slow day, there are 20 people who pay entrance fees for a total of $164. And we're using simultaneous equations to work out the number of adults and number of children. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna call my two variables. So A is gonna be for adults. All right, and then C is gonna be for children. And that's my first thing. So first off, just to have a look at what these guys have done, my first equation is look at the, the money itself. So I've got $10 for adults, $6 for children, and the total money they made was 164. So what I could write is I could have $10 for adults, all right, plus $6 for children, and altogether, the money that was spent was $164. All right, that's my first equation. My second equation is having a look at the actual number of people that came. See, A, A that stands for adults, it actually stands for the number of adults and C is the number of children, which means the number of adults and the number of children right if you add them up you should get 20 
And now I have my two equations. I've got 10a, um, a, 10a plus 6c equals 164 and a plus c equals 20. So from here, guys, you could either choose to do elimination where by adjusting the coefficients. So you could potentially multiply the bottom equation by 10 or 6 and then subtract it. Or um, as I, um, I'm, I'm looking at this and going, well, actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do elimination. All right. Let's do elimination. I'm going to multiply the second equation. I'm going to multiply the second equation by 6 because I'm going to eliminate the children. That didn't sound right. <laughs> but I'm just going to eliminate C. Okay, that's, that's much better. All right, so that means I have, I'm going to write my first equation, which is still 10A plus 6C equals 164. And now for my second equation, I have A times 6, which is 6A, C times 6, which is 6C, and 20 times 6, which is 120. All right, and now I'm going to subtract the two of them. So as you know, the 6C and 6C will become 0. 10A minus 6A is 4A. 164 minus 120 will be 44, which means I have my equation as 4A equals 44. A is equal to 44 divided by 4. So A is equal to 11. That means the number of adults is 11. And now I'm going to go to the easiest equation, guys. Don't use the first one. Look at the second one. The second one is nice and simple to use because A plus C equals 20. A is equal to 11. And you can easily find out what C is because you don't actually need to do any kind of major substitution and rearranging. So C, in this case, is equal to 9. So what I have is the number of adults I have is 11. And the number of children I have is 9. And that is how you answer one of these um, simultaneous word questions. And that's it for this session, guys. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments. And thank you for watching.